Good evening. We begin tonight five weeks out from game week for Boise State's 2019 football season. And once again this year, expectations running high for the nation's third winningest college football program over the last 10 years. Jay and Will are live in Vegas where they're getting ready to wrap up day one of the Mountain West Media Days. And guys, the Broncos once again the preseason favorites. Yeah, good evening, MJ. Welcome down to Las Vegas, coming to you live from Green Valley Ranch, site of this year's Mountain West Media Days. Day one, just wrapping up. JT, stop me if you've heard this before. Boise State picked to finish atop the Mountain Division. Apparently, the outlook for the 2019 Broncos is about as picturesque as this scenery behind me. My goodness, I'm happy we're off the Las Vegas Strip this year. This is beautiful, but you're exactly right, Will. How about we roll some football highlights while we tell you that Boise State has been picked to win the Mountain Division for the 12th straight year. Boise State picked uh, almost, eh, not quite unanimous faction, actually, Utah State wasn't far behind them. If you look at the preseason poll in the Mountain Division, Utah State received six first place votes, but Boise State hauled in 15 of them. As for the other division, the West Division, last year's team who faced Boise State and beat Boise State in the Mountain West title game, Fresno State picked first in the West Division, followed by San Diego State. So if the preseason media poll holds true, these teams will meet for a third straight year to battle it out for the Mountain West Championship. Either way, it's the Boise State football players that say this is a tradition they're just appreciative to be a part of. It speaks a lot to the teams that have come before and the tradition that's been set at Boise State of of coming in and have, playing with your chip on your shoulder and just going out and proving yourselves. It really is an honor to be a part of that that tradition and uh, um, Keiko couldn't have said it any better. It's just awesome uh, to be a part of that and it's really up to us to make sure that continues. As for the preseason awards revealed today, Boise State junior stud Curtis Weaver was named to the Mountain West, or was named the Mountain West preseason defensive player of the year today. It's the first time that a Boise State defender yeah. has earned this honor since joining the Mountain West Conference. Think about all the amazing defensive players that have played at Boise State. Never before has a defensive player for Boise State been named the preseason defensive player of the year in this league. League absolutely incredible. As we move along, uh, Commissioner Thompson addressed the media just a little bit earlier today, and amongst the hot topics of discussion was the pending TV contract. He was very adamant that the new TV deal for the Mountain West will be worth more. It will be more lucrative for everybody than the previously existing deal. One thing he's also paying a lot of attention to, kickoff times. He talked about that today. Every media that we've had, uh, certainly in the last five or so years have concentrated on what is the perfect time. We've done all kinds of study. We actually have a group from Air Force Academy that's helped us with what happens to kick times and attendance and the correlation and such. So we, uh, we spend an inordinate amount of time. It's really gonna be a compromise at the end of the day. Two other things that Commissioner Thompson talked about when he addressed the media today. First thing is that new contract that they're going to announce this fall mm -hmm. will likely be shorter than the one they are currently in. He says that's due to the changing landscape of all the media and the ways that you can watch college football broadcasts in today's day and age. He also mentioned that Boise State, when it comes to their home games, the conference will negotiate those rights separately than the rest of the teams in the conference. So a lucrative deal should get even more lucrative yeah. for Boise State. Hey, we know that we heard from Kekoa Nawahini as well as John Molchan a little bit earlier in the show. Uh, John Molchan's actually from Las Vegas, so he's going to take Kekoa out tonight and show him a good place to eat. Yes, they're going to need fun. it because tomorrow's going to be busy for those guys. It's going to be busy. Boise State meeting with the media as, rest, as well as the rest of the Mountain Division. MJ, we'll send it back to you in studio. All right, sounds good. A blessing and a curse. First place in the preseason means you got the last game of the night, typically on Saturday night. So it's a blessing and a curse. Guys, thanks. We'll check with you tonight on the News at 10.